The emergence of King Charles as an unexpected mirror image of his late father, Prince Philip, has intrigued experts who notice uncanny resemblances in wit, temperament, and occasional gaffes during the monarch's reign. Prince Philip, known for his outspokenness and often politically incorrect remarks, left a distinct legacy within the British royal family due to his propensity for blunt honesty on various topics. Despite King Charles, aged 75, not entirely embodying his father's don topodology, the knack for verbal blunders and putting one's foot in one's mouth, parallels between the monarch and his father have become evident, suggesting a deeper resemblance beyond what many might perceive. Throughout his reign, King Charles has encountered mishaps that draw parallels to his father's tendencies. His frustration with pen-related issues and apparent impatience during delays at his coronation have captured public attention, showcasing moments reminiscent of Prince Philip's candidness and occasional irritability. The penchant for one-liners and humor, a trait shared with his late father, became apparent when Charles humorously commented on his lack of Gingnam style while welcoming the Korean president to the UK. These resemblances might surprise many, as the public perception often paints the king and the late prince as opposites. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal expert, acknowledges this contrasting perception, quoting Prince Philip's own words about their differing outlooks. He's a romantic, and I'm a pragmatist. However, Fitzwilliams notes underlying similarities that often go unnoticed, while body language expert Judah James suggests that Charles, in his new role as monarch, seems to look upon his late father as a guide. Examining the reign of King Charles so far unveils instances where traits reminiscent of Prince Philip have surfaced, particularly in terms of irritability and occasional gaffes. Richard notes that despite both individuals' dedication to the monarchy, neither possessed a natural flair for public relations. Prince Philip, belonging to a different era, was unfiltered and often made headlines with his outspokenness, causing diplomatic hiccups abroad. Notorious for his candid remarks, Prince Philip's famous one-liners, including his notorious Just Take the Fasterisk Asterisk Asterisk Ing Picture, comment during the Battle of Britain anniversary event, exemplify his disregard for diplomatic niceties. His other remarks, like expressing a desire to visit Russia despite the historical conflict or opting for a simple beer over fine Italian wines, became emblematic of his unvarnished approach. His confrontations with the press, such as the Mosquito-related quip while in the Caribbean, showcased his candid nature. Despite not being the center of attention as Prince Consort, Prince Philip's short fuse often made headlines, a trait observed in various instances throughout his life. Judah James points out the transfer of this touchiness from father to son, suggesting that Charles witnessed and possibly experienced Philip's impatience over the years. She elaborates on how these irritable traits made Prince Philip iconic, and King Charles, perceived as softer, has exhibited moments of impatience publicly since assuming the throne. Instances like the pen incidents and his impatience during the coronation procession echo his father's less patient demeanor. Last September, Charles' frustration with a leaking pen during a visit to Hillsborough Castle in Northern Ireland captured public attention, signaling yet another instance reminiscent of his father's occasional impatience and candid reactions in public settings. The incident involving King Charles, frustrated with a malfunctioning pen during a signing, sparked public interest. In a series of moments captured by viewers, the King's gestures and remarks about the pen and timekeeping became talking points. His sudden gestures to remove an ink pot during a historic proclamation signing and his concern about punctuality during the coronation procession were particularly notable. Viewers noticed Prince Charles' irritation during different occasions, including when he gestured to adjust stationery and his comments about timekeeping while waiting for an event to commence. Lip readers interpreted various remarks, adding to the intrigue surrounding these moments. During a visit to Wrexham with Queen Camilla, a clip went viral where Charles seemed impatient while waiting for a photograph, urging the Queen to return, showcasing a different side to his demeanor in public settings. Royal experts have attributed Charles' engaging presence to his inherited wit, drawing comparisons to his father, Prince Philip. They noted that with his new status as head of the UK and the royal family, 
Charles might be channeling his father's charismatic techniques, shaping his public persona during crucial moments. Judy, a body language expert, explained the subconscious mirroring of parental figures, especially after their passing, and how it might influence behaviors. She stressed the significance of Philip's influence on Charles, suggesting that he might adopt some of his father's mannerisms during royal duties. Nigel Cawthorn, an author, highlighted differences in humor between Charles and Philip, citing instances where Charles displayed a lighter, more diplomatic tone in his remarks compared to what Philip might have conveyed. He pointed out Charles' speeches and interactions, noting instances where Charles showcased his wit, albeit in a different manner from his father. The article also touched upon signature poses associated with Philip and Charles, discussing how their body language, including hand positions and gestures, have been scrutinized and compared over the years. Judy highlighted Philip's typical hand clasped pose behind his back, symbolizing a composed demeanor, contrasting with Charles's hand gestures and self-calming rituals, which have evolved over time. Both Philip and Charles have been captured in photographs with their trademark pointing gestures, suggesting engagement or interest in conversations with others. These observations and interpretations by experts offer insights into how royal figures like Charles navigate public appearances, inherit traits from influential family members, and convey their personas through subtle cues and gestures, which become subjects of public fascination and analysis. The regal charisma of both Philip and Charles has been a subject of mixed reactions, yet their distinct charm remains indisputable. Richard highlighted the significant personal charm that both father and son possess, despite occasional perceptions of being old-fashioned, whether it's Charles's preference for a classically inspired village or his conservative style of dressing. The way they effortlessly engage in social settings has been commended, noted for their impressive manner of working rooms during royal duties. Judah also pointed out their affable demeanor, particularly noting Philip's perpetual partially amused expression and Charles' increased use of bonding techniques, like wearing a more frequent smile and employing the pointless point during conversations, reminiscent of his father's habit of signaling a forthcoming witty remark. Recently, Charles exhibited his natural charisma while conferring an honorary MBE to the members of the K-pop group Blackpink. His interaction with vocalist Jisoo Kim at a state banquet in Buckingham Palace showcased his warmth and interest, inquiring about their performance and hoping it hadn't interfered with their other engagements or rehearsals. The event stirred curiosity about whether the band had entertained the guests at the banquet with their energetic routines a departure from the usual royal events due to the suggestive nature of their performances. His Majesty expressed his delight at presenting the honor in the presence of the President and Mrs. Kim and expressed an interest in witnessing their live performance in the future. During his 75th birthday celebrations at Highgrove House, Charles revealed his more personable side, hosting a tea party where his friend, Jay Blades from the repair shop, was in attendance. Their camaraderie, highlighted during Charles' appearance on the repair shop, a royal visit resonated with viewers, showcasing a surprising bond that captivated many. Amidst the festivities, as guests sang happy birthday to Charles, a playful eye roll from the king added a touch of lightheartedness to the occasion as he prepared to cut his white and gold cake. The warmth and connection he shares with individuals from diverse backgrounds underscore his ability to engage and create genuine connections, showcasing a different facet of his royal demeanor beyond formal duties. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.